On January 8, 1815, during the War of 1812, just two weeks after the signing of the Treaty of Ghent, U.S. General Andrew Jackson achieves the greatest American victory of the war at the Battle of New Orleans in Louisiana. In September 1814, an impressive American naval victory on Lake Champlain forced invading British forces back into Canada and led to the conclusion of peace negotiations in Ghent, Belgium. Although the peace agreement was signed on December 24th, word did not reach the British forces assailing the Gulf Coast in time to halt the major attack. Thus, on January 8th, the British marched against New Orleans, hoping that by capturing the city they could separate Louisiana from the rest of the United States. Pirate John Lafitte, however, had warned the Americans of the attack, and the arriving British found a mixed bag of American regulars, militiamen, Native Americans, freed blacks, emancipated slaves, pirates, farmers, and recently freed convicts under General Andrew Jackson, strongly entrenched at the Rodriguez Canal. In two separate assaults to 7,500 experienced British soldiers under Major General Sir Edward Pakenham were unable to penetrate the U.S. defenses, and Jackson's 4,500 troops, many of them expert marksmen from Kentucky and Tennessee, tore through the British lines. In half an hour, the British had retreated. General Pakenham was dead, and nearly 2,000 of his men were killed, wounded, or missing. U.S. forces suffered only 8 killed and 13 wounded. Although the battle had no bearing on the outcome of the war, Jackson's overwhelming victory elevated national pride, which had suffered a number of setbacks during the War of 1812. The Battle of New Orleans was also the last armed engagement between the United States and Great Britain.